Hello friends, my name is Parish and what you see on your screen is Dynamics Now. Now what we are going to discuss is number series, that is automatic number generation for all the records. So let's just go to uh, customers over here. And you can see that all the customers are identified with a unique number. Now this is generated whenever you create a new customer or let's say a new vendor or new sales order or new invoice every transaction or every record has their own unique number and that comes from a setup called number series so since i'm using a chronos uh, database over here so all the setup is already done and we have so many records but let, let's just say that um, we do not want um, this number series uh, we would like to use our own custom number series over here so uh, let's just go to number series let's just type number series over here and select the right option so this is the place where you actually set up uh, your own number series and as you can see that we already have some setup for banks campaign fixed assets employees all sort of things over here so the current custom uh, number series that the customer is using is this one which is denoted with the code cust and the description is customer and we have the starting number and ending number so let's just say we can actually edit this um, this um, number series as well but let's just say we want to create a new one so we'll create our own call cust2 let's say my customer and to provide the starting and ending number we have to click on lines and we can even provide when this number series starts from and when does this uh, number series ends as well uh, let's just leave it like that but um, let's just click on starting number uh, let's just say it should start with cast and followed by four zeros and a one and the ending number should have the same format if you do not provide ending number it will just keep on continuing but let's just say we provide an ending number over here and it should follow the same uh, logic now if you notice if I just change um, the logic over here in the ending number the starting number will also change automatically let's just say remove one line over here and if you tab out you will notice that there are only three uh, zeros now so let's just increase number nine and it will change the starting number as well so we have the last state used that is uh, if whenever this uh, number series comes into effect the system will start recording when was the last uh, time the uh, last date when the number series was used and what was the last number which was used you can also provide a warning number over here that is when a number series reaches a particular uh, point uh, the system should give a warning to you so you can provide that and you can say increment by one or increment by ten so you can you can provide whatever number you want over here so let's just click on ok and it is set up over here customer 2 so we have our starting number and an ending number now we there are certain checkboxes over here called the default number and manual number and we have to select the default numbers this means that the system automatically generates the next number and it is important to check this otherwise this will not come into effect and you can also choose to have manual numbers if you want the users to overwrite the default numbers and provide their own custom numbers as well uh, so that you can select um, as per the requirement but still we have not specified the system um, that our new customers how our new customers would use uh, the new number series so for that we will close the number series over here and we'll go to sales and receivable setups so let's just search for sales and receivable setup And over here you will see the fast tab number series so just drill down on that 
and here over here it specifies okay which all number series are being are the default number series which are used for customers for specifying codes blanket orders so on and so forth so over here we have created our own number series called customer 2 so that's what we have selected now and now I'll click on OK so now if I click on new the new number series should come uh, new customer for the new customer the new number series should come into effect so as soon as I click on new and let's say OK and I click on new again so you will see that you know the number series is automatically being populated as per uh, the setup that we have done it starts with cus followed by four zeros one and then increments the next one so each new record will have um, its own um, will increment by one in this case and since we also selected um, the option of manually overriding it so we can actually do our own thing um, let's say customer do you want to rename the record yes and the system will allow us to rename the record and it has done that so this is all about number series very straightforward very easy why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself thank you